How's it going, guys? It's Links973. So today, holy sh. Wait, what the What, what the f is sound? Um. Wait, wait, we cannot have this on the platform, okay? They have heartbeats, they have women moaning, and sounds. No! Let's do the intro again. No, no, don't do it, don't do it! Good morning and welcome to... The new YouTube. The year is now 2020. And today we have lots of appropriate content for our viewers. Don't worry, you will not see anything offensive, objective, or any sort of harassment. What you will see today is pure, wholesome family entertainment. We have such stars as the now reformed Pepe. And we're not talking about the memes. Hey kids, it's Pepe. Yes, I know, this is a change of pace. But you know what? It's needed, cause we are broke. Thank you Pepe for those inspiring words. I really do appreciate that. Now, what do we have next for today's entertainment? Oh, we're going to have a let's play. Make sure that it's brought to you by our sponsors. Here is our sponsors. Ah, thank you. Thank you, my good sir. I truly appreciate this wonderful glass of Coke Coca-Cola. I see it is made with great... I see that it is made with great elegance. Look at this bottle. Look at the bottle. It's amazing. It is beautiful. When you look at it, you want to. <clears throat> um, family friendly. <laughs> and now for our next segment of proper YouTube etiquette in 2020. No more frozen videos with a pregnant Elsa and or Spider-Man and or Joker or any of those characters. Now, welcome to the new YouTube where instead of acting out some strange rather nonsense videos here we have a story time segment where we will weed i said weed i'm so sorry no don't, don't, don't you censor me don't you censor me where we will read frozen an amazing snowman brought to you by our sponsors at disney disney we love you please don't ever leave us again page one Olaf is not your everyday snowman. And now a segment for our latest sponsors, Bungie with Destiny 5. The latest expansion pack in a long line of Destiny series. Pay $55.99. That is a $4 discount for two new maps, one new strike, and five weapons that you will grind for hours and hours and hours of entertainment. Destiny, your number one source for amazing fun times. All right, I'm sorry. I had I had to make some kind of skit. <laughs> In case you guys wonder, it's Link Nine Seven Three. Don't worry, we haven't been taken over by all these other freaking advertisement companies or anything of that nature. But I will say this: this to me, honestly, is how YouTube is heading. We're gonna see about maybe. It has to be very significant changes in order for advertisements to come back to YouTube, frankly, because, well, unfortunately, Wall Street Journal once again decided to rear its ugly head and decided to find X number of videos, like five, six, seven, eight, ten. I have no fucking clue. I can't say fucking no more. I'm sorry, YouTube 2020. Don't fucking please, please don't. Just please don't, okay? So, yeah. <laughs> Honestly, it's it's insane. 
Okay, four or five videos I think that they found, they dug up out of fucking, I don't know, a, a million, billion fucking videos now they have. You have a, a, a platform such as YouTube that is meant for you to be able to talk and say anything you want and, and throw your expressions out there and everything. Now, there's a few different aspects to this YouTube game. Here's the thing. Looking at it from a, a, a business standpoint, which is usually how I look at things, I understand why... You know, companies and, and advertisers be like, listen, I don't want my Coca-Cola commercials or my Pepsi commercials about me trying to stop war and make love and peace just because you got this fucking Coke bottle. I don't want that shit playing on fucking racist shit or like, you know, terrorist videos or whatever the hell you have out there, man. YouTube is a fucked up place, man. I don't want my shit to be played on a fucking pregnant Spider-Man slash fighting Elsa slash Joker and all this other bullshit. And, and honestly, listen. My kid had my phone. He started watching one of them shit. I was like, nah, chill the fuck out. Hell no. Hell no. I, was like, I was like, son, I'm taking this away from you. You don't know why, but don't worry. You will thank me when you're older. Just, just stop it. But I want to watch Elsa. Don't, don't you fucking start it. But I want to watch Spider-Man. And Frozen's there too. Don't, don't you, don't, son. Just, just, just stop it. No, 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 this is for your own good. And I want to watch. Go to your room right now. That's pretty much how my dad voice goes. <laughs> Honestly, I understand why advertisers and everything. I understand why they wouldn't want their shit uh, associated to those kind of videos. And honestly, let's be realistic. YouTube has been slacking. Like, I'm talking about hardcore slacking or turning a blind eye to where these advertisement dollars are going towards. Uh, the type of videos that are showing up. I'm a small little channel. 70, 70 subscribers. 73. I actually, hold up. Did I actually go up a subscriber recently? I, you know what? We're going to check this mid-video because I have no idea. 74 subscribers. Hell yeah. I'm climbing up, man. For the longest time, I had 70 subscribers. And so now that I got four more, hell yeah. Anyways. Listen, I'm a small channel. I got 74 subscribers. Half the, cha half the times, if anybody watches this, they're not going to really subscribe. But if you do, I will love you forever, and I will love you forever, and I will send you this bottle of Coke because you love it. Anyways, either way, if you, if you actually watch this video, even if you don't subscribe or comment or like, I really do appreciate it. But, and this is why I'm trying to say th these things right now, because I'm a small channel. This shit is not going to affect me much because, one, I'm not making a living off of this. As much as I would love YouTube to be my fucking dream job ever, always doing this. Like, you know, if I had enough money, I'd fucking, I would rent a studio like most of these guys are doing. Just go there, work this. Like, a, I won't work in like a 9 to 5, but I'll be using so many creative ideas to actually make this a full-time job. Uh, but anyways, I digress. Point is, what I'm trying to say here is that I understand why advertisers will get pissed off. They don't want their, their, their advertisements going on this. But YouTube has been slacking for many many years why they're turning a blind eye because well they're taking all the ad revenue <laughs> all right they want people to get as to get as many videos to as many eyeballs as possible because then they could shove advertisements down everyone's throats think about it we had skippable videos before now we don't and now ad times are even getting shorter some companies can spend less money but buy more ads you have five to ten second videos that you cannot skip 15 second videos, 30 second videos you cannot skip. All depends. It's all costing a shit ton of money. And well, let's be honest, you know, Google is going to say, oh no, Mr. Coke Bottle, please don't send me any more money. I don't want your money. I want your love. No, they want, they want that fucking money. Anyways, point I'm trying to say is, I know I'm slamming this bottle like crazy, so if it's killing your ears, I'm so sorry, but you know what? God damn it. Anyways, uh, damn, this bottle is like really sexy. You just want to like, <sighs> Anyways, point in case being, I understand why advertisers are pissed off. What I cannot stand is, obviously, well, fuck Wall Street Journal for one. I mean, honestly, fuck you guys to death. Uh, I understand. They're a dying breed. They are a dying breed trying to hold on to the last possible fragment of relevancy that they actually have. Okay? When you think of Wall Street Journal, you used to think of ethics, like I said in my previous video where I made fun of freaking news in general. But now you just think of it, it's just, it's laughable, it's, com it's comedic. But like a certain orange person that we all know and love, it's comedic to a point that's now becoming toxic because it's actually having effects that really we should not be having at all. This, this, they should not have this kind of fucking power. But it is a giant ass company uh, run by millionaires slash billionaires and all these other people. So, you know what? We all expected eventually YouTube's problems were going to catch up to it. And frankly, it did. 
And fortunately, everyone's paying the price out of it. I mean, look at fucking Pewds. Number one YouTube star, making like, what, 100 bucks per video. What? Motherfucker get like 80 million thousand blue views on one fucking video. <laughs> like, how does that even happen? What hope is there for the little guys? God damn it. And yes, I'm keeping the fucking suit on and everything. As you guys already saw, normally I wear suits. I usually try not to include my suits and everything else in my actual videos because... Frankly, I kind of wanted to just be dressed down, but I'm so used to wearing this shit now again because I started working again that, um, yeah, I'm just going to keep it on most of the time. So I'm going to have my shirts and whatever. Anyways, point is, this is not the reason why you watch this video. I digress. But yeah, this this is what the state of YouTube has turned into. Um, where we're scared to death for fucking ads. For companies. Companies that will fucking ruin our fucking lives. We're scared to death to piss them off. It's sad. It's sad, really. YouTube was meant for a force of good. Not really. It was meant more for people hooking up and trying to fuck each other. But that's a different story, though. No. Okay? That's how YouTube started. If you guys don't know, look into the history. It's fucking hilarious. It's a dating website. Point being, it's crazy when you really think about it. It's insane how this has grown into a platform that has overtaken television as far as views and, and time watched and retention in general it's it's insane that you have a, a platform where anybody can upload a video say whatever's on their mind and overnight blow the fuck up they could blow the fuck up they could blow up to, to new levels that they never even thought about before okay overnight you can go from a hundred to a million nah maybe not a million but a couple thousand subscribers please god let that be me please god let that be me anyways it ain't gonna happen. <laughs> I ha I have to try, all right. Fuck, I have to. I have to want this shit. I have to keep doing this, okay? All right. YouTube is not an easy job, and whoever tells you that it is, fuck you. You have no idea what the hell this job entails, okay? It's not really a job. It's more. It's more a passion for me. But still, you have no idea what the fuck the passion entails when you put hours into editing, into thinking about uh, ideas and everything, and not trying to steal and copy everyone else's idea. By the way, this is the most original fucking video you ever saw in your life. I'm telling you right now, you ain't never going to see nothing like this ever, okay? No one's ever going to hold a bottle or anything like that. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm, I'm talking so much shit right now. I'm having fun with this. Why? Because, well, if you don't have fun with YouTube, what the fuck's the point? Honestly, um, I'm not going to get rich off of this shit. <laughs> so I'm going to hit ads. Because I want them to hopefully in the future maybe promote one of my videos. It ain't going to happen, but it would be fucking amazing if they could. But um, in general, yeah, you have to have fun with this. It's passion. And a lot of people are going to say, well, if it's a passion and you love doing this, why do you deserve to be paid for this shit? Okay. Well, I have views. And I'm making, I'm getting more views than people one of your television shows or your fucking news shows are getting on TV. So, uh, yeah, if advertisers want to put money in it and they want to put, you know, advertisements on their TV and this fucking camera sucks balls, so my apologies for the cam the color correction every two seconds, I need a new camera. So, you know, if you want to donate to my PayPal, I'm just saying, you know, just drop, drop me a line, okay? I mean, you want to send me a new camera, that's cool too. But anyways, point being I'm saying is that, honestly, it's a passion thing. And honestly, people put a lot of work into YouTube. You may not think of it. Most most people nowadays, they just think, what do you do? You just turn on a camera and you start talking or you start reacting to a game or you start talking about any random nonsense. And that's all you do. You don't do shit else. Honestly, you, why would you want to get paid? How dare you want to get paid? How dare you do this for free and you want to get paid for it? Well, what is wrong with you? Go get a job. Motherfucker, do you know what YouTube entails? Well, first off, create creativeness. You, you need to fucking be creative in this shit. To get anywhere, and granted, with my 70 fucking four subscribers, listen, I got four more than last time than I had in the past couple years. Okay, I, I don't want to hear shit. Anyways, you need to be creative. You need to have time to invest because honestly, at the real beginning, you're not gonna be getting paid for this. So you're gonna have to be doing what I do right now, which is working full time job. And if you have a family like I do, for fuck's sake, you're gonna have barely any time at all. This video I'm gonna record. If I work my ass off for it, maybe I'll get it out the next day. If not, it's going to probably be there for two or three days before I'm actually able to edit this shit and actually get it out. Well, I'm going to try my hardest to get it out tomorrow morning because, well, fuck, I just want to get it out because I love seeing my videos go and then people react and, you know, sometimes they leave comments, sometimes they don't. But either way, if people start watching it, I get a thumbs up. I know in my mind, at least I'm going to hope in my mind, that there's somebody that, got, that enjoyed it or got a good laugh of it. And honestly, that's why most YouTubers do it because it's a passion of theirs. 
But if there's a chance to actually make this into a career, well, now you're allowing people to be passionate and live while they're, whether it be, you know, not that good or, or, or good based off doing what they fucking love. And, and that's, that's an amazing platform. And unfortunately, because of the shit that Wall Street Journal has done, and frankly, YouTube themselves, what they have done, this platform has a good chance of dying. Or if not dying, at least being hurt for some time that people are going to have to set those dreams back by a few years if they want to get lucky. And I'm going to tell you right now, that fucking sucks. This was my this was my fucking ticket, damn it. This was my get rich ticket, fucking coke. Why you not? Anyways, back into Kong Kalut himself. Anyways, uh, yeah, honestly, it fucking sucks. The, the YouTube is over parties or all the fucking uh, videos that people are posting. Honestly, it, it is a scary thing to think about if you were living off of this. If you were a small YouTuber and you're living off of this, holy shit, man. I feel for you, man. I really do. Because if you based your entire fucking, your, your, your rent, your mortgage, your payments to your cars or whatever the hell it is that you do. And whatever the hell is that uh, obligations that you have and you base it on fucking YouTube. Fuck sakes, you better have a good ass savings account. You better get your ass to work and something else because honestly, YouTube ain't paying you shit now. You're barely seeing advertisements, which honestly, I'm not going to say for the majority of the small YouTubers, you're not going to get that much ads. I'm not gonna probably going to get ad play with this. And if I do, praise the fucking God because right now they're going to fucking make free money off of me. So YouTube will be very happy because I won't get paid for shit because that's how many, that's how little views I have. But anyways, I digress. I say I digress a lot now. I have no fucking clue. Who cares? Anyways, this whole YouTube thing, uh, is dead or uh, thing, and just in general, the the, the hypocrisy of these. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm gonna ins- I'm gonna ensure my YouTube career right now does not fucking go anywhere by saying this. But you know what? Hopefully, maybe at least you guys will know where the fuck I'm coming from. But the hypocrisy, a fucking ad. Uh, advertisement companies and everything else by being offended for fucking having a few ads play on a few different videos it's insane it's insane that you're gonna just say you know what knee-jerk reaction i'm pulling all my shit out fuck you guys hell no i don't want i don't want to be listed on some random person playing a game shot into a tv because i might get played on somebody's racist video and the person who reported everything is kind of a bigot themselves. Yeah, they're kind of a hypocritical bastard. But again, in, in, in my... Sorry, I kept holding it. The bottle is just there, okay? Anyways, in modern fucking journalism, you don't really fucking report the news. You don't really do any research. You just go for the fucking clicks. It's just like that fucking the skit that I did where... where uh, uh, the news editor room. Give me that ad money. Give me that money. That's all they give a shit about. And unfortunately, they're going to take down a lot of people while doing that. So, to every fellow YouTuber that's out there, I feel for you if you make money off of this shit. If you have a dream like I do to one day do this shit as a full time thing, bro, it's going to take a long ass motherfucking time. So, don't, don't count on that shit. Especially now with the fucking YouTubers dead parties that are happening now. It's going to take a long fucking time. Listen, realistically, everyone that's listening, I, I'm not in this to become a fucking millionaire. I'm not in this to make this my full-time job. I would love for that to happen. Realistically, though, it ain't going to happen. One, because, well, uh, it takes forever for me to do a video. <laughs> Two, um, and it takes forever for me to do a video because I have other obligations. Now, if this became my full-time job, it's a different damn story. I will bust out videos every fucking day like it's clockwork. Because I have a lot of ideas, and frankly, I just, I find this shit fun. Anyways, I'm going to stop ranting now, or talking, or whatever the fuck this thing is. And uh, hopefully, YouTube 2020 does not become a reality. Although, I very well think it will be. <laughs> um, at least with the way things are going now. It's a very knee-jerk reaction that they had, and frankly, um, really not the smartest thing in the world for them to do. But, whatever, shit all over your fucking, your, your creative... Uh, base that makes videos for you guys that actually allowed you to in the first place get all these damn ads uh, uh, companies to be interested in your website enough to actually advertise on them. Good job YouTube. Fucking fucking good job. 
you know, make YouTube great again, fucking definitely work. Uh, more like uh, watch YouTube die. Again. A slow, painful death. Anyways. All right. Enough of this bullshit. Guys, don't worry. I know I haven't posted that many gaming videos in a long time. A couple days, actually. Not really that long time. I had Mass Effect recently and then Resident Evil series, which was pretty awesome. I still got to work on Undertale. Do not worry, guys. I will not fucking forget about these games. It's just that, honestly, with all these uh, things that came out, the Project Scorpio, love the support, guys, that I got on that video. That was fucking awesome. I, and it was something that I just kind of did off the cuff when I was driving home. And hopefully this video, you guys enjoyed it. Have, have, at least have a laugh with me. I really hope you guys have a laugh with me because I honestly had fucking so much fun creating this fucking video in my head. And hopefully I can make the editing, make it to at least close to what I have the vision in my head because I have nowhere near enough skills to make what I have here appear here, here, here. Cool. Anyways. All right. I'm going to shut up now. Love you guys. Hit that fucking subscribe button. Oh, what the fuck? I forgot my damn outro. Wow. Smack that like button in the face like it was Wall Street Journal's bitch ass fucking face. And hit subscribe if you guys want to see more videos. Hit that little bell. You know, that little ringing bell shit. Put the cue the bell in here, damn it, future me. Okay. Hit that little bell if you want to fucking, you know, uh, show show your boy some support and, you know, know when I get a new video out because that will be fucking awesome. You know, that'd be cool. Anyways, um, like I said, uh, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think. Do you really think YouTube is dying? Do you really think um, everyone's freaking out for no reason or this ad boycott that is going on is something we should really take serious as YouTubers, uh, particularly the ones that actually make a living off of this? What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below. Until the next video, love you guys. And I'll see you guys on the next upload. Deuces! This is some bullshit. <laughs>